All right. Someone asked me if I would carve them a Dotson, and uh, basically it's a little wiener dog is what I called them. We've always called them wiener dogs, and uh, so I cut out a little pattern for a little Dotson, and uh, I'm sorry, my pencil. I, let me let me sharpen my pencil. Well, that's. I just sharpen pencils with my knife now. But, uh... Um... This is a little... In other words... Yeah. Okay. This is a little wiener dog, a little dots in other words. It's about one and a half inches long and about four and a half to five inches, about five inches long and one and a half inches wide. So we're going to carve this little dots in here. Now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and uh, I want to come across here about where the legs should be on this one. In other words, how they should extend out. And as you can see, on this one, uh, it has the two legs back here. But what we're going to do is, uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure, let's see. Yeah, this leg, this back leg will go back here. So this will be taken back back here. And what I want to do is go ahead and draw a, a center line on my dog. So just kind of keep that in. It's always good to draw a little center line to kind of help you. But this leg will be back here. And this leg will be forward. So this will be up here. This leg will be back here. So... Uh, it's, it's like other dogs that we've carved, in other words, in such a way. Now, what I want to do is show you this leg here comes up here like this. And this will be taken back like this. Okay? I'm saying is this is what I'm trying to show you right here it will be like this leg will be taken back like this okay this leg will be taken back here it will be uh, back here and then this you know this is taken off in here See, I took off a lot at that time, in other words. And this leg here will be taken off back here. See, is what I'm saying. And actually, this leg comes up kind of like, kind of like here. So this back here is taken off back here and this comes forward this leg extends out here this one comes back here okay I just want to kind of show you that just a little bit how we now when, when, when you, you don't want to come more than halfway because then you know the dog and of course the tail comes from both sides and comes up like this okay all right 
so we're just kind of showing you how to get this now these two legs the, these you don't have to really bend, but these two legs here they will stay stagnant when I, when I mean stagnant they will stay uh, their own way and you just gonna cut them in the middle and then slowly bring them forward see like that they're gonna stay their their own self and then you're just gonna go down the middle of them and you're gonna uh, separate the legs and in a way okay like that all right okay now let's go ahead and this this is going to be up here there like this and then we're going to start bringing this back like this okay now our tail and our head are two different things now the head will start being coming down like this in other words okay and you come over on this side and you do the same thing the head starts coming down and then the nose a wiener dog or a Dotson as they call them they have a very small face it's it's a very uh, small face and of course this all has to come down in other words this all now you want to be real careful in the this area in here because it is very very easy to break so we want to be very careful when we come down into this area okay but the head as we say is pretty much thin just like that so it'll come down quite a bit in other words this whole dog has to come down quite a bit but we work uh, as we go now let's go ahead and come from the back side and take this uh, this leg down a little bit but don't go more than halfway because then we have to figure out the width of our dog and everything like that. Now, Wiener Dog is kind of wide. He's he is uh, uh, he's he's fat. Let's put that's what he's he he's slow. He, he's slow. He's low to the ground. So naturally, since he's low to the ground, he is uh, different. So we want to come about halfway down between with this leg and with this uh Okay. All right, now, now then we start kind of coming with this front leg. You come down with that a little bit too, in other words, because this is just sort of, and we come on the other side and we do the same thing, in other words. What we want to do basically is meet in the middle with our, our little dog here. Okay, you see like that? And we're going to come out here like that. So, we kind of
we just basically are blocking it out here and bringing these front legs kind of separating them a little bit in other words he's a wide dog uh, uh, a wiener dog or a Dotson is a I always call them wiener dogs now people call them Dotsons today but I call them wiener dogs and uh, people really love them they are uh, I, 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 I understand they are very uh, I've never had one so they're very 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 friendly dogs they're very um, I have found some wiener dogs to be very uh, aggressive too I don't know that much about them I'm not a wiener dog connoisseur <laughs> but uh, I what I heard about them they, they are very good dogs for children and but I know they can be very finicky they're sort of like poodles what I understand also they can be very finicky and very uh, different type dogs but the people that I know that have them uh, they like them a lot okay and what I'm doing is I'm making my uh, my borders here. Like here is the border of the uh, of the like here's his here's his uh, here's his ears. And I just sort of come around here and because because that's what you have to do. You have to you have to make your boundaries for all of this type of stuff to work on this this type of because you have your ears here yeah it has to come down of course and then you have your your legs and you have all this other stuff in other words it has to come down so you have to kind of work it like that okay and then you have your uh, of course you have your stuff now we don't want to come down with our tail too much too quickly because because that we don't want we don't want it too too thin at first uh, because then we, we, we can break it off I'm sorry here I am doing this but I've got to get the back of the and what you do is you just sort of bring it down as I'm doing here in other words you sort of bring your your areas down uh, as you go along you just sort of work around this is where you really work around an animal where you Um, bring out the the uh, the legs and everything like that and as you see well that's why you want to do a centerpiece because you can kind of look here and go well I need more taken off over here or I need more taken off over there or whatever Okay. All right. See, it's just it's just a matter of basically um, getting in between these legs and and making the the animal. Bringing, bringing stuff down 
making cuts, not, not large cuts, making small cuts, just like right here. Bringing this down, but not, not to the point to where you just thin the legs up so much that that you, you, you run into to problems because that's why I'm kind of in this situation okay and once again you know I'm kind of coming around letting uh, the So I'm sorry that I'm jumping around, but that's the way, you know, as I bring something down, I look at it, and for instance, I, now I need to take more off in this area here by the, the, the uh, on this side, and then I go to this side and I do the same thing. I take areas off that uh, are around the ear, in other words. So I, I don't jump around for because I want to confuse you I jump around because those center lines are very important doing an animal because I can look and see how much do I need to take off here now I leave the I leave the the legs as they are uh, and then I bring those down at the last moment in other words or, or, or you know I bring this area just like when you're doing the face in other words I mean, you bring this area down, and you bring this area down, and then you sort of look. Of course, that's too wide, you know, as, as you can see. And then you bring this down, and then you bring this down. And you, you see, as you work through something, as you're carving, just like this, you look at this tail, and you can see that all this area in here has to be brought down, of course. And then you come over here and you bring some of this area down as well. And you work from both sides, bringing it down. Just as simple as that. So the center line is very important for you to be able to look and see what you're doing. And uh, then I bring some of this down here. Some of that in there. And some of it in here, in other words, as we bring that leg up some. Now, the same thing over here. This leg, I'm going to go ahead and, and do this with this leg, in other words. I'm going to cut. And I'm going to bring that down in here. Or bring that, you know, so that I can have plenty of, of room for this leg. Now as we look at this uh, leg, we want to bring that down some. Go. And it's almost about halfway, so we want to stop 
as we begin to bring this this area of course is always a little bit harder to carve in this area because it it, it uh, you, you have a, a grain change of there we go you really have to just kind of get your knife in there and work it is what you have to do so and and remember your face and your your tail are a center point also I like to use the tail and the face as a center point to sort of look at your piece as you look at it back here of course these legs are too thick and you want to kind of bring them down a little bit and these are too thick and you want to bring them down just a little bit and slowly but surely you're going to make them thinner and thinner and thinner in other words like that okay all right so these legs have to come down also and these come a little bit down as we work this area and in, in here that's why you start off with a bigger piece of course and work your way down as far as the dog is concerned course you say well the legs are too big but don't bring these down until you've got this area kind of worked out with the face and everything like that because then you can just bring those down Now, I'm, I think my time is about up uh, for now. And we'll come back and we'll continue the carving of this little Dotson. And as we look at him from the very top up here, from the center point of the dog itself, in other words, we can see that everything is still too thick and way too thick but we're coming down with it and as we come down with it we look at it and we see what, what needs to be brought down and what doesn't okay 